Nigeria is China's most important strategic partners in Africa and a third belt and road initiative firm for international cooperation that will be held in China next week. These were the words of the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Nigeria, Yan Yoking, at the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative. The event, which was held in Lagos, had Chinese experts, members of the Nigerian public, and the academia in attendance. A correspondent, Paul George, reports. Gathered at this symposium are Chinese and Nigerians. They are here to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative and how both countries can consolidate their bilateral trade. Speaking about what Nigeria stands to benefit at the forum, China Consul General in Lagos, Yang Yiting, says she is confident that it will be a win-win for both countries. We had made a lot of uh, cooperation, good results uh, in the future in the field of infrastructure, uh, investment and trade, and uh, cooperation, uh, education, culture, and so on. So I'm confident that uh, after the next forum, Nigeria and uh, China will uh, have uh, uh, more uh, cooperation. The Consul General listed the successes of infrastructure executed by China in Nigeria, reassuring Nigerians of our government's commitment at consolidating on works done so far. Also speaking, the Acting Director, Research and Studies, Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, Lagos, Professor F.M. Ubi, commended the Chinese government for inroads made in Nigeria. Uh, I mentioned that uh, uh, in the past 10 years, uh, the Belt and Road uh, uh, Initiative achieved uh, uh, a lot of uh, landmark uh, in Nigeria. Uh, for example, uh, Lekki Deep Sea Port and uh, uh, Lagos uh, Ibadan Highway and uh, Lagos uh, Blue Line. And uh, even we here we uh, built uh, uh, Lekki Free Trade Dong and Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Dong and uh, so on. For every new policy that the Chinese government comes up with, any new initiative, I've always been involved in the study on the Belt and Road Initiative. Most of those infrastructure, I have been witness to them. Nigeria, China, Africa relationship has come to stay. Other speakers commented on the challenges encountered in the course of the project. The road of the BRI in these 10 years has not been very smooth. There has been a lot of cancellation of projects. A lot of proposals have been revisited over and over. But nevertheless, one thing remains certain. Africa is gaining from the BRI. In Belt and Road Initiative, these projects are executed by the Chinese government themselves. Then, the, let's say the key is hand over to you, and you, you use this project to generate the funds. Normally, as it's done, you seek for funds, and the money is given to you, and the money is diverted. No, it doesn't happen in Belt and Road Initiative. So it's zero corruption tolerance. Uh, free. As the celebration came to a close, Nigerians are hopeful of more infrastructural development in the country. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.